Hi, my name is Kevin Schrader. I'm the technology evangelist for Zen Technologies. And today I'm going to show you a new product that we have released as part of our partnership with Adobe. Uh, this is called Flash Builder for PHP. It's a uh, new product that is a combination of Adobe's Flash Builder product and our Zen Studio product. Um, so basically the way this works is we have two projects that are set up in our individual IDEs workspace. Um, in this case, it's just going to be a project that shows how to list out the individual states. And it's going to be based off of a remote procedure call that's going to be made to our PHP backend. So you have a PHP backend that's going to be actually accessing and providing the data, and then the front end, which is going to be used for your GUI. In this case, we're going to be using a mobile application. Uh, so the way this basically works is we start out with our PHP side, and we have two different classes that are defined here. One of them is called state. Um, this is typically called a value object in the uh, flex side of things. We also then have a service object, and this service object is then used to actually provide uh, the interface in between our data and uh, the front-end application. So one of the big things to know about this is that uh, when we're providing a mechanism like this, what we want to do is provide our return types because this actually helps us out um, to uh, do a lot of the introspection features that we want to do. So we have our state here defined and we have our return value defined there. So what we can then do is switch over, well, we're already in our flex uh, perspective, right click on that service and cr click on create PHP service for flex. And what this will do is it'll automatically create all of the individual uh, classes that are needed to access this functionality on the uh, flex side. So if we actually go here, we can see down here on the bottom, we see get states and we see that it's going to return an array of state objects. We can also right click on there and go click on test operation, click on test, and we can see that our data is actually being sent back properly. Now the next thing we need to do is we actually need to make our uh, application actually display it. So we're going to open up our uh, view which basically has a list on there. And this list is where we just take our service object that we created, drag it on there, and it's going to ask us a couple of things, which service we want to call, what the operation is. And the thing that we're interested in here is the label field. This is the one that's actually going to print it out. So I click on OK. And so when we actually run this, uh, we'll be able to see that list information on the, uh, on the page there. So I'll go to my run configuration. I will specify that I want to run on the desktop, click on apply, click on run, and you'll see that we have our application there. Now one of the things that you'll need to do when you're dealing with any kind of application development is debugging. Um, thankfully with the new product we have the ability to actually integrate both sides uh, together, both debugging the uh, flex side and the flash side as well as the PHP side. So I'll click, I'll go to my state service here, create a breakpoint, and then I will specify that I want to debug states. This will launch the application. But as you can see, it's held here while our PHP service call, we're waiting for that to actually go through the debug. So we can actually now debug our PHP applications that have been called directly from the Flex application. And we see that our data is now here. Now it's nice to actually to be able to uh, debug a virtual environment such as that, um, but what you may want to do is actually do debugging on the actual device that you're targeting for deployment. And so what we can do then is go to our run configurations. I'm going to specify that I'm going to go on the device. This is a device that's connected via USB to my computer. I click on run, and you'll see now that our application is up and running on the phone. Now at the same time as we did beforehand, uh, we don't just have to be able to run it on there, we can actually still debug it as well. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna debug our application, but instead of debugging it locally on the machine, we're going to actually launch it on the device. And while the device is waiting for the debugger to connect, we see now that we've actually stopped our uh, debug session here on the, uh, on the server side. Um, with the debug session that was instigated on the uh, on the mobile on the actual device side, so we hit continue and we see our data is now up and running on our application here.